Hey Jans, how you doing? Welcome back to another mod stream. Today, with a rework 3.5. It's here. Let's see, let's see what they did to the game. Definitely need to make a new, I need to make a new profile. Oh, they actually put their own soundtrack in the game. Let's jump into the challenge series and see if something changed. Oh, the cutscenes are definitely HD. That is definitely some AI upscaled <laughs> video right there. The camera work is definitely here. I, I'll play for a while with the, with the motion blur, see, see if I like it, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna turn it off, man. I'm not sure if the motion blur was on thanks to the visual treatment. Nah, I think, I think it's still there, but I think I like the, I think I like the natural colors more. Blur's too much? Yeah, I think so too. So, if you want to get rid of the blur, you gotta get into your scripts, find this here, and disable motion blur. That's important. Xbox buttons, and I think the rest is fine. I'm not sure what they did with the cutscenes, like, those are already 16 by 9 cutscenes, so why do they have black bars now? Like, sometimes basic understanding is not really there <laughs> with models, I swear. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the idea was behind the black bars on a 16 by 9 video on a 16 by 9 screen. The ordering in the storyline, so let's see, let's see how that goes. The thing is, if you put a 16 by 9 cutscene into 21 by 9 it's gonna get squeezed. For all the yellow tint haters, he's most wanted without the yellow tint. So, looking at the mod folder of this thing, there is so much in there. I think the motion blur is gonna be permanently active. <laughs> Even if I tried to force it off, it didn't let me. Alright, it's gonna be a motion blur playthrough then. The thing is, this is actually very close to what the original motion blur looks like. I mean, this is the original games motion blur camera shake yeah it's a new camera too and there's there's multiple of those there's may uh, multiple camera settings that we can check out whoa what the hell <laughs> you need a side camera for video for video footage there it is ah that's drift cam and with motion blur it's a lot harder to actually might stick to the new cinematic camera but this is not easy to play if you don't know if you don't know the layout in the game it makes it quite a bit harder to see it looks, it looks intense. Oh man, all these extra trees. Like, that's the world level of detail and maxed out as well. Which I usually don't use, but it puts so much extra stuff everywhere. So we have extended a prologue to fit the cutscenes. They changed, they changed the racetracks. That looks like a genuinely good screenshot there. Like, the M3 looks fantastic in that picture. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. There's like cars everywhere. <laughs> it also makes it a lot harder to figure out where your car is because it's also shaking to left and right and not just up and down. Definitely an interesting camera to play in. I would say a little bit, a little bit too strong for a fast car, but I can totally see myself using this camera for my starter car for a slow car. Like I actually feel like I'm getting shaken left and right, although I'm driving perfectly straight. <laughs> yeah, the motion blur is intense, but you can't turn it off unless you have a modified X, I heard, and I don't have it. Definitely makes the sense of speed better. I can totally see that being, you know, a pick for some people that are like, hey, I want a little bit more. Or maybe I just want to play for half an hour and I want to I wanna feel nauseous when I'm done. <laughs> So they, take, they pick the camera shake camera. I want I want the equivalent of a roller coaster ride. Make me sick in 30 minutes or less. Let's try let's try the close cam. Also seems to have a good sense of speed. Also that car is definitely faster than the usual M3. This might be Razer's M3. Promotional video. What do you mean? Why has his voice changed? Maybe people just didn't understand him, you know. <laughs> The demo races. Yeah, if you never played the most wanted demo. <laughs> Here's some new content for you. Different cars too. <laughs> that was that was them chasing Rog, right? That's actually really cool. I love I love restored content, man. That that is so cool. Can we make it? Yeah, but <laughs> It's gonna spawn me all the way up there, isn't it? Who the hell thought that half prison is a good idea, man? Now uh, there's Rog showing us the ropes. I really thought this would be a drag race. <laughs> you can't even get past them without a, without a speed breaker. <laughs> As I said, speed breaker or your lane system is not working. See what I mean? Like if you don't use the speed breaker, you're always gonna hit that guy. How about this? How about this camera for drag racing? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm behind him. <laughs> this is hard. Hey. <laughs> the Contorious. <laughs> nice recreation. Oh, Roblox are back. In races. The cop radar is disabled? Yeah, that's stupid. If that's a thing. 
just look back that is true i do i do do that actually by myself like the review mirror permanently off is fine with me because that's how i play the game as well but i know other people don't what i'm more annoyed is that i don't see the cop radar the, because that's actually helpful to show you what a cop is if you don't see it on the mi mini map but this game has a mod that lets you see what a cop is so you don't need the cop radar anymore so it actually makes sense thanks for playing underground too so i think we're gonna have the same cars to pick from though I was right funnily enough they actually changed the values for the cars but we do have enough money to get the golf that's important 36 cars yeah isn't it usually 32 so they definitely unlocked a few bonus cars gotta say golf looks pretty good and i think the extra sense of speed is gonna help with the starter cars blacklist cars oh what's this a chop shop okay i don't think i know this cutscene man that's a lot of concept art quite quite a lengthy cutscene too Oh, yo, look at this guy. <laughs> the Jet <Chad> GTI. <laughs> he doesn't know how to drive it, though. Definitely a nice golf there. It's kind of funny. Only the environment is motion blurred, so it's easier to see traffic cars. Or rather, close camera when I use. This is kind of a medium thing. Point of view definitely feels different when you play in 16x9. I am an idiot. <laughs> no lap glitch is active. Oh. There was a cutscene for going into into the shop. Are you serious, dude? Why is this 500 bucks more expensive? You fucking shit game. <laughs> What's the point of making this 500 bucks more expensive? Like, why would you do that? It makes no sense whatsoever. So these are the natural colors. Let me show you with visual treatment. It does feel more like most wanted. Gotta be honest. This definitely feels more most wanty. The thing is, you need to do some heavy adjustments to the natural colors of Most Wanted for them to look good, in my opinion. I wonder if it's impossible, but I've never seen the kilometers per hour being upscaled. Like, everything on the interface has a higher resolution, with the exception of the actual kilometers per hour number. I'm not sure if it's impossible, but that is, that is the only thing that has low resolution. I feel like they just forgot about it. Like those slight optimizations, also I think it uses, it uses some shaders from the 3060 version, which makes it look better. What I will say though, the sparks, in my opinion, don't necessarily look better. At least, I'm not a fan of them. I feel like the original sparks look better. They might be lower quality, but I just think they look better. Random events and races, I noticed that, that was actually pretty cool. They look off to me, but mostly because they don't look like they do in the original game. You know, that's just the purest thing. You know, me, me being so used to the original look of the game. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Okay, that's gonna take away a lot of kills. If we can, if we can only make the kills on Pursuit Breakers. I gotta say though, I don't like this. I think that is part of part of most wanted's charm. You flip a cop and they break. I think that's part of most wanted, and you should not take it out. A, a cop is clearly taken out if he's upside down. A car is totaled if it lies upside down. And at the very least, the cop is incapable of continuing the chase. I do like the addition of roadblocks at condition one, as well as getting roadblocks during races. I think that's fantastic. And the sun being bright was the same in the original game too, like that. <laughs> you cannot you cannot fault the mod for this. The original game does exactly the same. The problem with this camera is that it's actually harder to see where the traffic cars are, because your car is so centered and it takes up so much <laughs> space. And there's actually a lot of cars just in your way. There's Tess, what the? Why? <laughs> Why is Tess parked here? I gotta say the extra things happening during the races is pretty cool though. Yeah, the motion blur is not optional anymore, which I also think you shouldn't do. Like you should, you should leave the ability to turn off motion blur if people don't want it. You know, just like I would approach any new game, it's all about optionality. You know, let, let the let the people play how they want to. There's too many people that hate motion blur, so you should never force enable motion blur. Ah, why are you here, man? Yeah, you know, it takes away of some of the satisfaction. You know, you took out the ability to crash out cops when you ram them hard, and you took out the ability to break them when they flip over. I would, I would put that back. I would 100% put that back, because you take away the satisfaction of destroying the cops why he randomly beat me okay let's let's swap car it's a weird thing i can slam into the roadblock without taking out any cops and that's already a condition one you know while that might be more realistic i don't think it fits into most wanted like usually i would just hit this guy he breaks and can escape Skill. 
issue. Right, this is just annoying, man. <laughs> Encourage the speed breakers. The problem is, then it's only speed breakers. You limit the game ex a lot. Like, you take away so much from the original game, it's not good. It doesn't encourage, it enforces the suit breakers. Like, you have no other choice. And, you know, it's just not as good as just being able to also break them with a well targeted hit. Honestly, this doesn't make them harder, this just makes them more annoying. Like, this is not how you would make the cops harder, in my opinion. You'd have to come up with something else. Check for Rog. There he is. He's stepping up to take on the blacklist. And to do that, to get a crack at one of us, you gotta get noticed. You gotta go beyond smoking the competition. You gotta build a rep. You gotta become notorious. To become the most wanted. Now, if you think you got what it takes, then prove it. Rog is first encountered during the title's prologue as he challenges the player to a friendly race. Realizing the player's racing skills, Rog starts to root for the player and sends them useful gameplay tutorials and tips. You can replay the events from uh, the prologue that we did. That's kind of cool. We can do it again. <laughs> Vic. <laughs> I saw Vic watching again. I guess it makes sense that the next Blacklist member checks out the race. The newbie that's beating the other Blacklist. See, once again, like... Okay, there's another... Okay. Okay, this is this is the kind of roadblock that I was expecting. Ah, oh, wait, I have to go left too. Oh my god, I'm so confused. I have to look at the minimap, man. I wonder if I would have gotten a reset not staying on the track here. Or if the game would have been fine with me going around. Some mechanics. Well, the opponents are stronger. But it's mostly mostly new gameplay elements, like more events, different events. Restored content from the most wanted beta cutscenes from promotional material. So yeah, your typical overhaul mod to enhance your experience, including funky cameras. Yeah, gameplay-wise, you do have, like, interactivity during the events. You now have a bunch more cars coming from the side. Speed traps are already tough as balls when you're in first, but now you have stronger rubber band going on. So I think I'll stick mostly to sprint races, and I don't have to deal with rubber banding speed traps. I think every time the game spawns roadblocks, it has to take the cops that are available on the map. Or, better said, there can only be so many cops on the screen at on the screen at one time so if it spawns roadblocks it takes away the cops that are actively chasing you they actually might be over tuned for drag races don't think this is possible certain opponents these are these are some difficult drag races and you really need to utilize the speed breaker the thing is you don't have enough maneuverability of your car in those pre-defined lanes and how long how long is this race this is hard <laughs> this is really, really hard. There's so much traffic. And I got I got really far into the drag race too, but there's just so much more afterwards. I think it's like a full-on sprint race. Like a full-on sprint race that has been converted into a drag race. I actually could fit my car under there. There was just enough space on the left. I gotta say, the basically designed races for the blacklist actually better than original Most Wanted. Like, shoutouts to you for that one, for that stuff. You did make the blacklist races a lot better. Oh, I think there's the cutscene that plays when you unlock an area. True. It's just like on the ground too. Very cool. Very cool. I think I'll I'll go to another car when I get like a cool junkman car. Did you notice that like the pictures have also been massively upscaled? Like they look way sharper. This is where like the upgrade in in images is really obvious. Everything but rock because rock was super blurry to begin with. But these look heavily upscaled. I'm not sure if those are separate pictures that are just at a higher quality level or if it was upscaled. Yeah, back then, like 32 cars was plenty. Nowadays, people want more cars. Okay, I think that roadblock is pretty... <laughs> pretty obvious. I mean, if you know these roadblocks exist, then it's easier and it's easier to evade them. Got the material girl and mass is gone. I actually think we get some performance upgrades after Jules. Dude, why do all of my opponents have C6Rs? I don't think I can beat them because they are actually extremely fast, so... I outrun them, then catch up with, with their rubber band, and then we just destroy the speed traps. <laughs> Bullshit! Ah, oh, so unfair! So incredibly unfair! 